Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Using Deep Q Learning Monte Carlo, we're going to do a little mild, uh, as you can see, he did pretty well on this hand. You see? 21. If you guys are familiar with blackjack, you're trying to get 21, uh, not greater than 21, but obviously uh, mo more closer to 21 than the dealer. And I don't know what his hand is, but I'm pretty sure I won. Won the game in that list of 400. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, before anything, you guys got to install all this. You guys got to import this. And then here's where, if you guys want to play a different game than me, you guys put in that right there. You know, you change that parameter. Import gym, make. Remember, because we're creating the environment. Technically loading it, but... Anyways, guys, um, see my other video for uh, heavily training uh, the RL agent to drive the taxi and pick drop people off. He gets very few time steps, and you visualize the whole game. And also, the RL agent is penalized and rewarded correctly, and he completes his task with very few penalties as well. See my other video for stock trading. You know, using reinforcement learning, deep Q. Okay, and then see some of my other videos for neural translation machines. My channel's got everything if you guys are new to it. My channel's got everything from ML pipelines, getting models approved for production with SageMaker pipelines, to deploying various SageMaker models, to GCP, to Azure, to... Uh, I got 124 videos, so... Even uh, data science with clustering. My channel is more on the technical side, but now, lately, I've been starting to get more into the data science side than technical. Machine learning engineering is what I mean by technical. Anyways, guys, uh, my channel's got something you need if you guys are here already. Okay. And uh, we're not going to heavily train uh, this thing right here. We're just going to do a little basic, and we're going to see how he does. Okay? We're not going to do anything too heavy. Um, see my other video for, you know, uh, the taxi. Okay? So as you can see, make the environment. Technically, you're loading it, but... Because remember, reinforcement learning, you penalize a reward in RL agent into completing the task. Technically, you're supposed to uh, see my other video for more in depth. Uh, you're supposed to penalize them more than you reward them because if you reward them, it gets too lazy. Okay, and then also, uh, all things want to go to a straight arrest to Markov's decision process, which is something different. Okay, than this right here. This is more of the Monte Carlo side. And, um, See my other video for, um, just check out my channel, 124 videos. And um, like I wanted to tell you about reinforcement learning, it's its own branch. You know, uh, there's machine learning, deep learning, and reinforcement learning, which this is in the reinforcement learning family. Like self-driving cars would be on the more uh, advanced side of reinforcement learning. And... Uh, you know, self-automated drones that Israel did. Eh, automating drone warfare, all done by reinforcement learning. Mm, artificial intelligence, too, for the convolution, the RCNNs to detect uh, enemy terrorists. I'm not going to get into the politics of that. This was just an example. Okay. Um... Anyways, guys, as you can see, there's the I episodes, then there's in range of 100, state, environment, reset, while true, print state, the reward. This is pretty much default. So by default, um, I didn't do too good. You see, I can lost a lot in the range of 100. So obviously, how, they, how I would know is if the reward was greater than zero... It would print, you know, you won. 
Or if it's zero or less, it's going to say you lost, like it says a lot. You see? Reward one. See some. Okay, guys. And then uh, here's where I get into some mild training. For the action, zero. The state, because remember I put this right here, the 18 because of the hand, right? Else one. Okay, the next state, reward, done, info, environment step. Append the state, action, and reward it. And guys, remember, I'm using a Google Colab. If you guys use Jupyter Notebook, just like on TensorFlow, you got to pre-install. Uh, on Colab, everything is pre-installed. So you got to, if you're using Jupyter, you got to do the virtual environment and all this other stuff. Only some stuff on Google Colab you need to pre-install. I mean, you need to install. Because a lot's pre-installed. Okay. And then remember, we got to append all this right here. And then the state equals next state. Same thing as that. Okay. I want a lot more. And then as you can see, look at that hand. 21, right? And uh, unless... And let, my guess is probably he, he came out with 20 and I beat him by one. The deal is pretty good. Because one card is covered up. The jack is 10. I guarantee you he's got um, probably an 8, 9, or queen. Anyways, um, I don't think he has an ace, so I doubt it. Anyways, guys, if you guys aren't familiar with blackjack, remember, you're trying to get, um, you know, either 21 the best. And now, if he gets 21, then uh, I guess you're tied. Now, it gets more complicated than that, you know, because then you get into, uh, you know, splitting aces and all kinds of stuff. So, um, remember, uh, it's all about probability. Like, if he shows this and you had a 20 right here, you wouldn't want to hit unless you wanted to be risky, and then you get 22, 23, and you busted. So let's say you had 20, and then you could see he's got 10. You would just want to stay with your hand and hoping he didn't get 21. Anyways, guys, most people around the world know how to play blackjack. You never want to hit on a hand unless, unless he had a 2, a 3, a 4, and then... You're, you know, depending on what hand you had right here. Blackjack's all about probability. That's why I put that parameter right there. Anyways, guys, um, remember, reinforcement learning, you can automate nearly anything. So, um, and also, like I told you, uh... Miss Pac-Man does not exist. I was actually going to do that one, but just so you guys know, but there's a lot of them with Jim. There's also Retro Rapper. Check out Retro Rapper. You know, Sonic the Hedgehog instead of Jim, you can use that environment as well. But anyways, guys, um, you should uh, be able to print this out, you know, with Jim and then get the list, you know, because it changes all the time. Um... Anyways, guys, um, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you liked it. Share, please, with anyone who uh, might need my channel. This is just for fun, you know, something easy. Um, my channel's got nearly everything. Like, uh, my last video was a ML web app that detected uh, foreign languages, you know, using Streamlit. So anyways, guys, like I said, um, if you're on my channel right now, there's probably something you need. And uh, if you guys want to get more in-depth in reinforcement learning, see my uh, training an RL agent to tax the, to, you know, drive the taxi. He does very well. And guys, um, just remember, um, uh, to get the list, because uh, there's probably uh, more games on here.
most likely. Miss Pac-Man does not exist, though, anymore. That one is expired, I guess. And remember, you can use Retro Wrapper from Jim or just Retro. You can import it as well. You might need to pre-install some more things if you don't want to use Jim. But if you guys use Jim, and you guys pass the correct parameter, you guys can play other games. Or you can apply my last video and you know apply the code and then just change this parameter right here it should encode unless there's a you know my last video um where i uh, trained the rl agent to drive the taxi check out that video and then maybe uh change that parameter right there if you guys don't want to do that game but you guys got want to follow the code and apply as necessary okay and remember, guys, how I did this down here was, um, you know, RGB array, the number of episodes, a thousand, the distance. Okay. Environment reset, zero, done. In range of episodes. Okay. And then just like that, I did the same thing up there. Okay. Environment render. PLT I am show the screen display clear output weight equals true display PLT GCF close close and there we go there's the product now uh, see my other game with the RL taxi I actually visualized the whole game this is basically just a little preview of what you can do with reinforcement learning but check out that other video it gets more in depth does more uh, interesting things. Anyways, guys, I hope you like my video. Share if you like. Thank you. Bye. Oh, before I go, uh, let me know if you guys want me to do anything on my channel that I haven't done already. So if you guys could watch some more videos, tell me what you guys need, I'll do it. Now, if it's deployments on GCP, I already have some of those. If it's deployment on Azure, I already have some of those. But if it's an ML pipeline on one of those two, I'm going to need more subscribers and more viewers before I even commit to that because those two are a pretty, those ML pipelines on those clouds, those cost a lot of money. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you like my video. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye.